It's five o'clock. It sure is. Yes, so we're yeah. live at five at Broadway.com. Yeah. It's uh, Lampard Wilson Day. It is July 5th. 5th, 5th, 5th of July, 5th pardon of July. me. Thank you. Yes. Uh, and Matt Doyle is here, you guys. Matt He's Doyle. in that awesome Sweeney Todd downtown. Yes. And um, and Dents. We have to talk about Dents. Have you have you have you like read his the online? Yeah, cut? with like, it's Beth so Bears, gorgeous. Incredible. Yeah, it's so yeah. beautiful to look at really and, great. and fascinating. And I don't even know like how he created it. And I'm dying to hear. So yes. so we're gonna find out. But is yes. there any news? There sure is Talk news. Up? So we just got new casting today for oh. uh, for Doll's House Part this Two. Is cool, yeah. yeah. So original stars Laurie Metcalf, Chris Cooper, and Condola Rashad are going to exit the production on July 23rd, and taking over are Tony winner Julie White as Nora, Stephen McKinley Henderson replacing uh -huh. Chris Cooper, and Erin Wilhelmy replacing Condola Rashad. Cool. And Jane Howdy Shell is going to stick around, which is awesome news. Julie White. Is hilarious. She's great, and, but also like brilliant, and I, and I'm yeah. so excited to see her do like those those crazy monologues. Yes, and, and to see like what she does with it. No kidding, right? She's also a dynamite uh, dramatic actress, uh -huh. so I think it'll be such a good fit for her. Yeah, and I'm really pumped about it. Yeah, you just saw it, didn't you? Just I saw it last night. I saw your Instagram. Yeah, I celebrating Nora's independence. That's what I, I was doing yes, last night. I appreciate yeah. that caption. Good job. <laughs> All right, so um, Ingrid Michaelson joined the cast of The Great Comet on Monday, and uh, Dave Malloy has stepped into the role of Pierre for a, not for a week. Right, so Oak starts next Oak starts week. July 11th, yeah. I love avoiding saying his full name. Just yes. Oak. Oak. It's a hard next name. Yeah. yeah. It's a good uh, short version. And uh, Ingrid Michaelson, who's now playing Sonia, has teamed up with the original Sonia, Britt Ashford, mm -hmm. to sing the song Sonia Alone together beautiful harmonious version of the song and uh, it's on the site you should definitely give it a listen cool yeah uh, also uh, we have an interview on the site with Sarah Poyser who is playing Donna in the London production of Mamma Mia it's still going it sure, it sure is yeah and she's here we go again I we sure do hey and why not it's such a fun show. And what does she have to say? So something about Meryl Streep. Did she say something about? She talked about, you know what? I haven't given a, given She's it a full read. <laughs> so, I, to be hundred percent honest, but that being Go said, read it. I put you on the spot. Yeah, no, but it's all good. She played Donna on tour all oh. throughout the UK, and now she's playing it in the West End. So it's kind of like this ultimate experience for her. And have you figured out what the plot of the Mamma Mia sequel is about yet? That we don't know yet. That is one but of your we're, tasks we're digging. for the summer. Yes, making Everybody it happen. Needs to know. Indeed. So uh, Laura Osnes appeared on PBS's Capital Fourth last night, right. and we have a video of her singing this incredible July Fourth medley of songs with these adorable backup dancers in yeah. the background. So uh, give that a watch. It was a perfect Broadway uh, way to celebrate. Yes, and go see Bandstand. Everybody, band stand, we tell please. you that all the time. Go see Bandstand. Incredible. Love yeah, that show. We love dancing. So indecent actress Eleanor Risa is going to perform Yiddish music in concert at Feinstein's 54 Below with uh, original members of the Klezmatics, which is oh. like this incredible klezmer band. Yeah. So that's going to be on July 17th at 7 p.m. And uh, yeah, and also go see Indecent at the court. Yep. Super it's running August. Right through the beginning of the August. The beginning of right? August, yeah. 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 What do they call it? The Miracle? The Miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. That yeah. got a, that, or the producers just decided to keep it running. But yeah. that's a miracle. That's, I like that. That's awesome. Yeah, a near-death experience, I think, is what they said. The near, because oh, it almost closed, and everything. then it <laughs> right. opened for right. six more weeks. Right, Cool. Yeah. So Jeffrey Schechter has taken over the role of Pseudolus in Muni's production of A Funny Thing AKA Happened on the Wood Farm. Yes, Shecky. Shecky. This is Shecky. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. Um, so Peter Scolari was supposed to play the role, and he had to exit... Uh, the production due to allergies uh, with performing outdoors. What? So, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, That's this crazy. just happened. So performances begin tonight, and Shecky has taken over. Wow. Yeah. Well, Shecky's a real Broadway pro. Heck yeah, he has so many I have, credits. I remember the first time I saw him, he was, um, I could do that in uh, the chorus, chorus line. line. Uh, but he's, he's fantastic, so yeah. I think uh, audiences are in for a treat. I think, I think they sure are, yeah. Uh, so Broadway Barks is this. Saturday in Secret Alley. It sure is. Oh, okay. Yeah, 3 to 6.30. 
And in addition to the fact that all of these incredible stage performers are going to be presenting adoptable dogs, yes. uh, it was just announced today that Broadway Barks has implemented a Mary Tyler Moore Award oh. um, in honor of Mary Tyler Moore, who's a co-creator of Broadway Barks right. and passed away earlier this year. And the award is given to uh, a person who has changed the lives of homeless animals. So oh. this year the award is going to go to photographer and animal advocate Sophie Gamond. Cool. Yeah, good news. Oh. And we, we also found out today that we have some more celebrity presenters announced for Broadway okay. Barks. Kate Baldwin, Jennifer Samard, Chad Kimball, Mamie Parrish, and Michael Xavier are all going to be presenting. Awesome. Go, yeah. get, a, go get a puppy. Please do. Or an adult dog. Get an adult dog. Senior or a cat. Dog. Anything. Mm. Just help out. And have a good time. Yeah. For it's in Schubert Alley, right? Schubert Alley. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the London, the London Gay Men's Chorus has teamed up with the West End production of The Lion King to produce this epic circle of life video uh, with the Gay Men's Chorus singing harmonies in the background and one of the cast members uh, singing Circle of Life. Cool. So check that out on the site. Awesome. And that's it news-wise. Is that today. it? That is, is it. Is that it? Yes. Okay, you guys, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with Matt Doyle. What's up, everybody? My name is Matt Roden here for Broadway.com at the opening night of Marvin's Room on the Broadway. And tonight I will not be asking anyone real questions because we are playing a game that I like to call Roomba. I'm going to show you pictures okay. of famous rooms. Okay. And you're going to tell me what those rooms are. Okay. American Airlines Theater. Is it in the White House? There's a military figure. Yes, there is. This is a situation room. The situation room. So fast. Oh, and there's a rabbit, and there's Christmas things. Dr. Seuss's house. I have no idea, except there's some kitties in it. Good night, moon. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a good night, moon? Yes. A sci fi film that I will never attend. But maybe a Game of Thrones. Is that like Game of Thrones? Uh, Hamlet? The Haunting? This looks like something out of that Tom uh, Cruise and Nicole Kidman movie. Something out of Harry Potter. It is. Oh, it's Chamber of Secrets. Oh, Boom. Sorry. Is this Brazil? It looks like my house right now, having just opened a play and letting everything die. Yeah. Like X-Men. Is that the Batcave? No. Yes. Oh, it is. In no, that's not Inception. Yeah, it's wait. It actually is a Christopher Nolan film. So like, it's a Batman. Yes. It's because that is a Michael Caine. Yes, Michael Caine. And why was Michael Caine at the airport in Inception? These are the questions. These are, these these are, the, are the things. Questions. These are the big why questions. Why was Michael Caine at the airport? Hamilton. 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 Oh, that's the room where it happens. Though. Hamilton. Yes, it is. That's the room Fabulous. where it happens. Oh my goodness! Really? Yeah. In the real estate. Or in, in well, uh, no, it's the show, but it's the uh, song, The Room Where It Happens. How did you choose these? I just picked. What did you Google, like rooms? I like thought of famous rooms. I asked my mom. This bitch is the most delectable show of the summer. With original music by Sarah Bareilles, the composer behind the hits Love Song and Brave. We are back with, look, Mr. Matt Doyle Hello. in the house of Sweeney Todd. How Hi, are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? So good. Good. So good to see you. It's good um, to see you as well. Okay. So, Hi. yes, you're still singing beautifully down at Sweeney Todd. I am. Um, if you haven't seen the production yet, please try and come down to, to Sweeney Todd at the Barrow Street Theater. It's yeah. absolutely incredible. Yeah. And yeah. now you have uh, Norm Lewis and Carly Carmelo. Yep. Yep. Have, have joined have joined the team down there. Yes. Who that, are they? I don't know who they are at all. <laughs> Hacks. <laughs> is it nice to go? You've been in a lot of shows over the years, and you've done a lot of like new shows. Yeah. Is it nice to go to a show every night that you know works and is like a brilliant piece of writing? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a great feeling where you, like you you just get to live in the piece and yeah. celebrate it. That's just a wonderful feeling. I yeah. mean, it is such a it just at at its core, the script and the score alone are so so phenomenal. That just to get to perform. It yeah. in any way is, is a, a blast. Yeah. yeah, and to sing Joanna. And to sing Joanna. Yeah, yep. amazing, <laughs> amazing. 
Um, and, and how about the fact that you're singing it in people's faces? Like that it is really close. Have there it's been a any really close, awkward yeah. situations? Every now or and then, They would yeah. ask you for an autograph mid-song or? Not autograph mid-song, but sometimes they'll start talking. Sometimes people will just stand up because they like they don't really know how to react to the immersive thing. Right. So they might try and grab props from you or, I mean, <laughs> like, it's. Like we're all part of it, Yeah, right? we're a part of it so game. we can, yeah. <laughs> and we'll touch them, so they're like, "Oh, should I touch you?" Or oh, yeah, it's that, yeah, it can yeah. be a little interesting sometimes. And so just to be clear, the, uh, the audience cannot touch you. You can touch. It's just like <laughs> I mean, not really planned. So I guess you know, I guess that's what we're going for. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have to talk about dense. Yes. Okay. So dense has been sort of this amazing side project. Yeah. Right, that has kind of become a, a, a big thing. Yeah. So let's talk about this. Um, you have a bestie. I do. And we all know her. And what's her name? Beth Bears. We yes. We all love her. Of Two Broke Girls yes. fame. And, yes. and uh, yeah, she's also a, a theater actress as well. So hopefully we'll get Absolutely. to see more of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so how did this come about? So this is a, it's an, it's an online comic. Is it a comic book, graphic novel? What yeah, is it? Yeah, absolutely. The, you can call it proper? a comic book, even okay. though it's online. It's, it's a, I guess we would call it a web comic is kind of web the, com- the term. Web comic. Um, which have kind of exploded over the past few years as everything moves digital now, even comic books. Right. And uh, so it's on this site called Webtoon, which is yeah. the largest site in uh, South Korea. And oh, they, really? Yeah, it's okay. like the largest <laughs> website, like six million hits a day. And they launched it in the States just a few years back. Okay. And uh, so they approached a bunch of people to try and bring new content to it. And my, uh, my best friend, Beth, was friends with the content director. And he said, well, do you have any ideas? And uh-huh. she said, uh, no, but my best friend literally has a treatment that we've talked about really? like, dozens okay. of times. So and this is something that you, yeah. so the plot of this is something yeah. that you had discussed in the past as what, like a, maybe a movie? As or? a movie, maybe a TV series, uh-huh. and actually it was something that I even said to her from the get-go, I think this could be a really cool comic book. And, uh-huh. and she knew that I was a huge, huge comic book nerd okay. growing up. I mean, I threw them in her face all the time. <laughs> and, and, um, and she's great. She would actually even like contact me over the years and be like, what should I be reading right now? Because she really uh-huh. got into it as well. Uh-huh. And, uh, and so I, she brought my treatment that we had kind of almost, even the treatment written together and uh, sent it off. And we had a deal within like two weeks. It was wow. unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. and so and it's beautifully illustrated. I mean, yeah. it's beautifully drawn, and there's music elements. There's music elements, to it, yeah. which is really cool. So they referred us to an artist that they uh, they gave us a list of a bunch of artists, and Beth and I looked through, and uh, we found this amazing guy named Sid Koshin, who is actually out in India. Okay. So I talked to him. Have you remotely. met him? I have not met in person, but never I think met. I okay. speak to him more than anyone in my life That's right amazing. now. <laughs> like, just back and forth, and we've never met. I mean, just you know, thousands of miles away from each other, and we're doing this project daily wow. together. Yeah, it's really nuts. So let's talk about what it's about. So it's yeah. set in 2111, is yes. that right? Yes, yeah, it's, and uh, it's, it's the future, obviously. It's the future, yeah. <laughs> um, it's about... Uh, so dense I, are dense identical are twins. Identical twins with right. superpowers in this post-apocalyptic world. And the way those powers came about is there was this huge plague that hit the world and killed off about 70% of the population from a virus that was released from the melting ice caps, which is actually possible and really wow. scary that there okay. are these viruses we've never been exposed to. And well, so we kind of, yeah, that. right, yeah. So we tied in that global warming element and, uh, and then a vaccination finally came along and a side effect from that vaccination was this huge increase in identical twin births. And they didn't realize at first, but these twins actually have these extraordinary abilities. Right. And the way this new horrible dictatorship and government that formed um, in this post-apocalyptic world reacted to it was to just kill them off and start this genocide against wow. these twins. And so it's about being an outcast from this society and having remarkable abilities that people don't understand, that people are afraid of. And I don't know, I feel like that kind of ties in with uh, current political events. Tying in, it's all, yeah. all ties in. All ties in. <laughs> and yeah, it follows the story of a young girl named Eleanor who doesn't realize that she actually is a dent until right. she has a big tantrum in class one day and right. discovers her powers and has to escape and wow. then is searching for her long lost sister. <laughs> and, and so you are now, this is season two, yeah. right? And I think it doesn't, uh, chapter 29 comes out tomorrow? Yeah, right? actually tonight at midnight. Yeah. Oh, tonight at midnight. Every yeah. Thursday there's a new chapter. Yep. And uh, so tell, talk about the process of this. So 
and the story is just going, and, yeah. and are you writing it as it goes? What's, I what's, am. I'm about this? two chapters ahead, and that's okay. kind of where we were last season as well. So it's a lot of work that never stops. I'm like writing and dealing with it all day, which is great. Um, while I'm doing a show, that can be a little tricky. Yeah. Uh, it's just a balancing act. In fact, a lot of the times the actors will walk by me and just be like, are you writing right now? I'm like, <laughs> I have a deadline. <laughs> um, so uh, Beth and I outline it at the top of the season and okay. talk about literally chapter by chapter what's going to happen. And then I do the brunt of the actual writing in the season, send it off to her. She's like my editor with me. And uh, once we're set on the chapter, we send it off to our artist, Sid, who pencils it and, and inks it. And then it goes to our colorist, who's actually in Malaysia, who colors it. And then <laughs> it goes it. to our letterist in Jersey. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and then we have a chapter. <laughs> I love it. It's yeah. an international project. It really is. I mean, I just, I because I have to act as the producer on it. So there's, there's moments where I'm like, this is the craziest thing. <laughs> I cannot believe how absurd this is. But and I don't think anyone knows that you're going through all this. No. It's, a, it's, a, it's, an amazing, <laughs> it's like such a crazy side job. I love it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And it's so beautiful. Thanks. I mean, it's just like the art is just so so uh, it's so he's stunning. amazing yeah. and yeah it's fun doing panel writing because I think what people don't understand is the side of a, what I do which is literally just explaining the panel to a T of what's going on and you it's like a paragraph or two for each panel and then I send that to the artist so you're and describing he, what the visual is of each yeah, panel yeah wow. amazing yeah it's amazing. nuts yeah, it's kind of like storyboarding, and uh, yeah, if I was a creative director for a commercial or something. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look at all these new skills you have. And there you go. It's yeah. so cool. <laughs> uh, so, would you like to see it be like a TV show or a movie? Yes, yeah, and I, can, I wish cool. I could like say more. What I can say is that we are developing it as a. TV series of some sort right now. Beautiful. And that's about it. That's <laughs> exciting. It's very exciting. And we have an amazing team behind it. And so hopefully one day we'll be able to talk about it more. This stuff just moves slowly. Um, we have some questions. Yeah. Billy, I know this is, might be the most obvious question. I'm sure you get asked this all the time. What's your dream role, Matt? Oh, oh. gosh. Well, I, and I say this. I'm, I, I think there's even productions going on. I want to play Claude in hair before it's like ridiculous oh. and embarrassing. Right. Like before I'm too old. Um, I love that role so much, that score. I, I it would it, that's a dream right. for sure. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, that, that, great. We should do that. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey, what was Bye Bye Birdie like? Oh God. Now you were Hugo, right? I was. And then yeah. the, round, the roundabout. Yeah. The roundabout production. Do you know that was a really sweet production just because the cast was so warm and uh, and lovely and and we were all really really close and I cannot say enough good things about John Stamos. Mm. He was such a leader. And uh, so kind to all of us, and kind of really took the helm of the ship. And and uh, yeah, I actually I had an amazing time. And I was in the ensemble, like adult male dressing room. So mm -hmm. I had all these amazing guys like John Tracy Egan, who just kind of took me under their wing and right. you know taught me to shape up and what theater really was. Really? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was coming right off of Spring Awakening, so my world was a right. little like right. Yeah, absurd. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing I want to say about John Stamos incredibly attractive in real life. He's he's hideous. Like I in real life it's about. like it's kind of really hard to look at it's him. It's jarring. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry you had to look at that. So yeah. often. <laughs> um oh I wanted to ask you about this. Nicolette said I love your album, Uncontrolled. Oh, thank well, great you. album. Everyone Thanks. should download it. Thanks. Um any new music on the way? Any new music on well, the way? Well he's busy writing a web <laughs> What is yeah, it? a webtoon, webcomic, so, yeah. Okay, yeah. So yes, I mean, that's absolutely the plan eventually. We want to do one more music video um, for that album mm -hmm. and hopefully do that either this fall or in the spring. The music video is like, beautiful, like Thanks. really yeah. Like, beautiful yeah. shot. That's all yeah. uh, Tony Marion and a bunch of people uh -huh. that, uh, um, uh, anyways, yeah, did, yeah lovely yeah, yeah. group that yeah. did that music video. So yeah. we want to do another one as well. And, uh, and then maybe think about new music next year when I have a moment to think. Do you <laughs> walk around the streets thinking, are you in 2111 when you walk around the streets? Are you like, live, do you think about the story? No, but lot? I think anyone in my life, like my boyfriend, my roommate, they'll all comment on the fact that my head is always somewhere else. And <laughs> it's like, it drives them nuts because they, they just share stories back and forth about like, what I didn't hear. Like, my roommate will tell me she's going out of town for 10 days, and I'll be like, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just, I... Not I've, paying attention. Yeah, not paying attention. Uh, Elise, what's your favorite memory from War Horse? Oh, God. You were, you were in the original cast of yeah, War Yeah, my favorite memory from War Horse was probably just getting to know uh, Marianne Elliott, who's the director, yeah. because we got really, really close, and she was hysterical, and she came up to me on, like, the second day of rehearsal, and I was 
one of the only, uh, there were 35 people in the cast, 30 uh-huh. boys, and I think there were maybe two gay guys in the cast. Uh-huh. And so she sat down next to me and she goes, can you be my mate? <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, I need a gay mate. And I was like, great, absolutely, done. Yeah, she was lovely. I mean, she's brilliant. She pegged you. Yes, she did. <laughs> oh, Bradley, is there a role you would love to revisit? And revisit? Oh, God, if I could revisit a role? Oh, yeah, Tony in West Side Story, for sure. Yeah. If I can do that one more time, very, very that happily was a, would. Yeah. I'm assuming that was on your bucket list, too. Oh, yeah. And boy, was that just a fantastic production. And I, I, I felt so lucky to do that one. You know, you're a pretty singer. Oh, thanks. You know how to sing. He knows how to sing. That's really nice. That's good. Uh, David, any chance for Dense the Musical? No. (laughs) That's a strong no. But I do, like, uh, consider, um, you know, I write a lot of music with my co-writer, Will Van Dyke, and I think people have asked, like, when are you guys going to do a musical? And it's something that we've talked about. So maybe down the line. I I would never say never to that idea. But yes, never a dense musical. That would not work. (laughs) What's your, who's your dream Maria for West Side Story? My dream Maria right now? Well, Belinda Allen, I have to say. I love her so much, and she was incredible. If I were to do a different Maria. Right, you have um, to. Let's make a rule. Right, right. I would, I would want to do it with Alex Fink, um, who's playing Joanna right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's incredible. You guys are really tight. Yeah. Yeah. We're very close, and uh, and we just want to keep that going. So Saying her name makes you smile. It does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about this? I saw Spring Awakening over 20 times. Wow. What co-star from Spring Awakening would you want to work with again? Uh, co-star from Spring Awakening that I'd want to work with again. That's a good question. That is a really good question, I because I love so many of them. I love Phoebe Stroll. She made me laugh so oh. hard. Uh, like, I mean, she's I think she's brilliant, and she's such a phenomenal actress and just always put a smile on my face. So the first thing that pops in my head, I'd have to say Phoebe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Hannah, current favorite show on Broadway? Current favorite show on Broadway. I'm going to do a plug. I'm going to do a big plug. You guys should go see Bandstand, Bandstand on Broadway. But not that Bandstand, but yeah, Bandstand. Yeah, it's a really yeah. good show. It's a good show. And there's a really good dancer in it. Oh, what's, yeah. what's who, is, is it a guy? Uh, his name no? is Max, he's he's tall. Oh, I know yeah. him, he is yeah. very talented. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's sort good. of like one of the showcase dancers. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's talented good. Talented guy. Yeah. You've ever met him? Yeah, no. Uh, how do you relate to Anthony, Elise wants to know. Oh, um, I think Anth- Anthony's passion is something that I, I relate to. He's uh, really, really driven, and as soon as he decides on uh, something that he wants, he, he will not stop at getting it, mm-hmm. and uh, gets very, very emotional about getting it, so that being Joanna. So that's something that I really relate to, and just kind of that young, uh, young foolish, and, and risky drive that he has. Is there any other Sondheim you would love to do, or have you ever have, have Assassins. Your eye on? Assassins. Yeah, I would love to do Assassins. Oh yeah. I think that show what is role? so good. I would love to do The Balladeer. Oh that yeah. That would be fantastic. Yeah. 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 It's just such a smart book, yeah. and that score it is, is so super good. Super smart. Yeah. It's gonna be so crazy to see in the current climate them doing it at Encore this week. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. And they're doing it at Encore, so that's sorry, Matt. To say. You're busy. Sorry, Matt. He's you were cast. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, like one day, uh, you know, we can do another. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can always do something. <laughs> and you know what? You don't have to worry about. It's not like hair. You could probably just wait. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You have a blush face. You still have time to do assassins. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're good to go. Uh, we could. I mean, we could talk forever. People will ask you a lot of questions, but Aww. we are running out of time. Running out of time. And. Uh, you so how long are you gonna be in Sweeney Todd? I'm gonna be there until August 27th. August and 27th. Okay. Yeah, so I got a couple months left. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, same with my co-star Alex Fink, who's just lovely, and Brad cool. Oscar, and yeah. So try and come down this summer to see it because I'll do still be there. Do you ever eat the meat pies? I do. Yeah. You do. Okay. I try to. I have the really meat good. Pies. Yeah. Um, I try to resist it because um, I uh, I don't eat a lot of stuff like that, and we have like five extra pies a night. So they, we just they're have free. Do you get a discount or they're free? They're free. They're free. all the extras. Yeah. So we just have so much pie <laughs> that I have to avoid it. But uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think everyone who goes to see the show should definitely get pie. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The pie is really good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for being here, thank Matt. Thank you for having me. Uh, everyone, go see Sweeney Todd. Yeah. And what's the website again for for Webtoon. Webtoons? Webtoons.com. Mm-hmm. It's the number one website for for webtoons actually, it's and webtoons. Uh, the number one website in South Korea. So. But it's really cool. You could just yeah. kind of like devour the whole thing. Yeah, you yeah, can. You, you can, can get just, through the first season in like a couple hours, and yeah. then then you'll be. And then there's up. a new one at midnight. So yeah. catch up. You have like only what twenty seven to yeah, yeah. twenty eight. You have twenty eight chapters. 
You have nothing. like seven hours. <laughs> Just get through it. You can do it. They're quick. <laughs> uh, so yeah, check, check him out in Sweeney Todd, and we will see you back tomorrow at 5 o'clock with another amazing guest. Bye. Bye, guys.